Ableton's EQ8 is a parametric equalizer featuring up to eight filters per input channel. There are three ways that EQ8 can process signal, stereo, left and right, or mid-side. Stereo mode filters both the left and the right channels equally. Left and right offers independent filters for the left and right channels. Mid-side provides the same functionality for tracks recorded with mid-side encoding. But no matter what mode you work in, the output frequency spectrum is displayed when the analyze switch is active. Ableton gives you eight responses for each filter. First, we have 12 or 48 dB per octave, low and high cut, which is used for attenuating the highest and lowest frequencies. Let me give you a demonstration of uh, the extremist 48 dB per octave, low and high cuts. You don't have to go that extreme. I usually go for the 12 dB. Oops, the 12 dB. Which is much more subtle. Ableton also offers low and high shelves. So this would be a low shelf, which as the name implies, it creates kind of a shelf and boosts or cuts everything below that. and the high shelf does the same for the high frequencies. Let me deactivate these. And last we have the notch filter and bell curve. So here's the notch filter used for taking out a specific range of frequencies can be narrow or wider depending on the Q value and the bell curve oops and this is the bell curve kind of gets his name because it kind of looks like a bell In order to save CPU usage, you should turn off unused filters. But if you need more filters, you can just click these squares to enable more. Each of these eight filters offers every single one of these responses. Try layering filters together to achieve more drastic effects. If you want a 24 dB per octave filter, then you can just lay two 12 dB per octaves together. Another cool trick you might not have known about is highlighting and moving several dots together. You can either use the mouse to drag the dots, the knobs that correspond to the dots, or select the dot and use your arrow keys. If you would like a better view of what you're EQing, then click on the arrow up here to change the location of the display. With this option, you can also adjust each filter without having to switch between them. On the right side, we have some additional options. You can solo an individual filter when audition mode is on. All you have to do is click on a dot and hold it. What you're hearing is only what the filter is doing to the overall track. If you leave the dot in the center, you won't hear anything. When the adaptive Q button is enabled, the Q mount increases as a boost in gain increases. Q, also known as resonance, adjusts the bandwidth. At high values, it's very narrow. And at small values, it's much wider. The scale slider adjusts the gain 
for all filters except for ones that have low cut, high cut, and notch enabled. Lastly, at the bottom right is the global gain slider, which adjusts the output volume of the signal passing through the EQ8. EQ8 is definitely something that you really need to know intimately. I use this on every single one of my tracks, whether it be percussion, lead, bass elements, anything and everything. EQing can help prevent conflicting frequencies and help you to highlight sounds that you want to sound more prominent. If you'd like to learn more about EQing for individual tracks or for mixing or mastering, then check out some of my other videos. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my channel for everything you need to know about music production, engineering, and Ableton Live. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Never stop making music.